important health alert for those of you who rely heavily on EpiPens. News Channel 5's Jillian Idol is live with the common mistake you could make that local experts say can decrease the medication's effectiveness. Jillian. Well, Shannon and Jay, doctors and pharmacists are telling me that it's pretty common for parents to keep an EpiPen, whether that's your glove compartment or center console, but it turns out that that decision could cost you a lot of money, but also your health. It has a little bit of insulation in here to give a little protection from the temperature. Laura Haas doesn't go anywhere without an EpiPen. Should we look at some granola bars? And our son has had uh, several reactions where we've needed to give epinephrine. Time is of the essence. The Palm Beach Gardens mom of three uses insulated cases, even ice packs at the beach to keep the medication closest to room temperature as possible. A rule for us personally is um, to keep our EpiPen no door locked doors between us. Yet doctors and pharmacists say not everyone is as cautious. Extreme temperatures can absolutely accelerate the degradation of the uh, medication. The latest research shows EpiPens left inside a car, even for half a day, decreased the effectiveness by 14%. Extreme cold it has the same effect, so leaving it in the freezer doesn't help the product. It actually accelerates the breakdown as well. So your best bet is to always keep it on you, whether that's in a purse, a pocket, or like Laura. And back in the case, safe and secure, and if I'm wearing it with the dress, I have it around my neck. And I'm told that if you do leave an EpiPen in an extreme temperature, whether that's extremely hot or extremely cold, it should turn, the medication should turn to more of a rust color. Now, if you think that this is potentially something that has happened to you, you will want to talk to your doctor about getting another prescription. But for now, reporting live in Palm Beach Gardens, Jillian Idol, WPTV News Channel 5. Uh